Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching the video on how to remove hair that's on the face close to the hairline. Um, this is always a difficult thing to do because um, usually when I remove hair I use the patch tool or the healing tool but for some reason those tools don't work well near um, near hairlines and if you if you see here if we try to um, select down here and then remove the hair from here we get this really dark crazy looking skin and that's not natural at all so basically I'm going to show you guys how to remove all these stray hairs that are close to the hairline so first I just got want you to grab the patch tool it's um, with the healing and spot healing brush tool and we're going to remove all these stray hairs that aren't near the hairline what this is going to let us do it's going to open up um, the, our forehead and our texture that we can select from later on when we're going to apply it to the hair that's close to the hairline. So the way the patch tool works, you simply select an area that you want to change if you have it on source and then you click and hold and then drag and drop into a clean textured area. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, you just want to remove the hairs, um, the skin texture, we'll, we'll fix that later in um, skin cleanup tutorials. Alright, now you pretty much just want to remove as much as you can um, that the patch tool allows you to remove without getting that weird looking skin. And um, when we get this done, we can start working on the hairs that are much more difficult that are close to the hairline. Okay, so now we have um, a clean palette of skin to select from and the texture looks really well in there. And we're sim simply going to take the texture from this skin um, that's not even close to the hairline and we're going to apply it up here. Uh, so first thing we need to do is create a new layer. So come down to your layers palette and we're going to select create new layer. It's down here at the bottom right hand corner of the icons. It looks like a square with a piece of the paper folded up. So hit that and then we're going to go over to the smudge tool which is the finger that looks like it's pointing to the to the ground or something and we're going to use the smudge tool. So make sure your your layer, it's sampling all layers, is checked and my strength's at around 68, um, which is, seems to work well for me. And um, the mode's at normal. And so basically what we need to do is we need to push this hairline back. So it allows us to come in and use our healing brush tool without getting that crazy um, skin effect. Um, I'm using a PC, unfortunately, and this, it always gives me um, problems when using the smudge tool, so bear with me. So go ahead and just smudge back that hairline as far as you can, as far as you um, can make it go back, because um, this isn't affecting um, the original layer. This is just putting it all on the new layer. So you want to make sure it's pushed back far enough to where we can get. Um, deep in there close to the hairline without getting that effect again with the um, healing brush tool when we get close to the hairline. Alright and then uh, if you have some thicker hairs in here let's just smudge those a little bit. Alright, so now that we're all done smudging, we've moved the hairline back, so it's given us a lot more room to come in and lay down some skin texture with the healing brush tool. Alright, so as we're working on the, the new layer, we're going to select the healing brush tool. Um, it's set on sampled and normal 
and my harness is at 100%. I feel like I have more control when it's at 100%. When it's diffused and soft, it tends to um, not give me the results that I need. So I'm simply going to hold down Alt and select from this area because it's clean of hair. And then we're just simply going to brush it in here in the areas that we smudged. Now if you notice it's sampling from the same exact area that I originally sampled from so I recommend just grab a different area every so often to make sure we don't have too much of a pattern repeat. And if you start to get near areas that are higher in light you want to try to select in those areas as well because the texture should be higher and just to make that look more natural you want to select in there as well alright so um, just go in and make sure you don't have too many pattern repeats and try to adjust those to make it look natural and the skin doesn't have to look perfect right now um, we'll take care of that in the skin tutorial we're simply just worried about the hair for now alright so it looks good we've got this crazy smudge but we also have gotten rid of the skin so now I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it look normal and less alien like if you will so we're gonna start by creating a layer mask so come back down to the layers palette and um, there's this icon that has a circle inside of a box and it's at layer mask. Select that while holding alt and what that's going to do it's going to hide everything that we just did in that new layers. So the way layer masks work is you use the brush tool and it works on works basically with black and white. So since we just laid down the black layer mask it's going to hide everything we just did. So what we want to do is we want to reveal it only in the forehead area. So we're simply going to use white as our color in the foreground and our brush tool and we're simply just going to come in here and reveal that part of the layer mask in the forehead. My hardness is I think at 20% right now. It gives it a soft edge but still lets me get close to the hairline without it getting too far into the bangs. So as I just reveal that what we did earlier, notice that it's looking really natural. Um, we still have a few little hairs here and there that look like uh, look a little weird because they just end. We'll take care of those individually. But if you notice the overall effect is really natural. Um, so if you're satisfied with that, um, I'm just going to merge it merge it down, merge that my layer down. Um, just for tutorial purposes, I like getting rid of as many layers as possible just to simplify things. So if we go in there and notice that, you know, I don't really like that hair right there or whatever, um, we can use the clone tool. It doesn't act the same way as the healing or uh, patch tool near texture differences so we can simply just um, select an area right here by holding down alt and clicking and then just moving a little closer up and it'll allow us to get right up in there and remove some of that extra hair that we weren't wanting So there you go, um, it's as simple as that. Please subscribe if you learned anything from this and um, I will be coming out with plenty more tutorials for you guys and um, if you want to learn how to retouch this skin, um, click below, That's the um, there's a tutorial on skin retouch that follows the tutorial here on how to make the forehead and all that blend in and look real smooth again. 
Alright, thanks a lot. See you guys next time.